Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to... Well, this is the tier list, the grand finale of everything. We just got some chill music and we're gonna make our tier list of all of our Pokemon here. As you can see, it's 723, so I'm actually not all that drunk. And I'm recording this, luckily, a week earlier than I normally would. The dog's playing with some toys, so hopefully that's not too loud, but... Let's get started on this tier list. I want it to be a, a quick and efficient video and just get it done. We'll start with all of our starters. We're just gonna throw them in the A tier. Just They're all the same. Actually, in that order is probably perfect, too. That's where they would end up. And then I'm gonna throw Grovile in there. I'm gonna do the same thing with all of their um, mid-tier evolutions there. And a lot of these Pokemon I don't know the actual name for, so we're gonna stick there. Uh, Swampert is definitely S tier. He's like a god. And then Blaziken, really good against the Steel, which is heavily overused in this generation, so really helpful to have that as well. Sceptile, I'm gonna leave down in the A category. You know, he's good, but he's not great. So now we can actually get into the nitty gritty, like actual catchable Pokemon. And you can see I already took the, the Mega Evolutions and then some of the forms of Deoxys and some of the forms is Cast Form and threw them down here. I'm going to count Cast Form as a whole and then Deoxys as a whole and then obviously we didn't have Megas in the game that we played so we're not going to count them. Uh, Poochiena and Zigzagoon I'm going to throw in the B category along with their Evolutions. They're okay, they're just not grand. Um, the Bugs, just because... I mean, we've seen the bugs so many times. I'm throwing all the bugs in their evolutional stages there, down there. I'm throwing this guy up here in the B category, but I'm leaving this guy in the C category. Um, that's just my personal placement. Let's see, this guy's a dead C. And his evolution here is also a C, in my opinion. You know, he even may be a D, Low Toad, or whatever his name is. And this guy's okay. He's not great, Ludicolo, or whatever his name is, but he's okay. I'm throwing these two accordingly, and I'm going to put him up in the A category as well. You know, he's actually, like, pretty solid. He g Shift Tree gave us, um, he gave us a hard time during the finale, so that seems only fair. Uh, the Regional Bird... I'm gonna do like that. He's pretty good. Um, not great, but all right. Pelipper, blue, and his evolution, woo. They are, uh, I even wanna put him in the D, but I'm not going to just out of being a nice person. Um, yeah, he just, like I said, his mouth looks like a ginormous toilet there. He, he's not good. Um, let's go. Ralts is here, his evolution is there, and Gardevoir is all the way up there. Gardevoir is amazing. It's just one of the best psychic types you can have. I'm throwing Skitty here in the C category, and his evolution in the C category as well. Never used it, so I can't really speak to it. Uh, this guy's going in the C, but then his evolution is going up here in the A. The grass fighting type is a really good diverse type. I just overlooked it, honestly. These guys are going to go how you would expect them to. C, B, A. Slack King's actually really, really good. Um, the evolution's leading up to that, so-so, but... Uh, I'm just sick of bugs, so I'm going to throw him, him, and this guy. This guy only really has one specific task. I'm, I'm going to leave him there. I was thinking about throwing him a D, but I won't. Um, this guy's gonna go down in D. He's actually pretty bad. His evolution will go in the C category, and then his final evolution up there in the B. Uh, he's okay. He's a good normal type. I'm gonna throw him into C, and then Hariyama into the A category. I really like Hariyama. I really, really do. But it's just such a slow fighting type. Like, there's no reason for him to be as slow as he is. And I get it, That's he's kind of overpowered, so they make him slow, but it's also at the same time, it's like, come on, man. Um, this guy, down here, never used him, never had a hard time going up against him. Nose pass, same situation. Eh, nose pass will get the C. He's just as good as this guy, so. 
These two, I'm just throwing straight in the C category. They're really bad. Looks like I forgot to get rid of Mega Sableye. Um, Sableye, I'm going to throw in... Yeah, I think I'm going to leave him in the C. He's, he's a good Pokemon. He's just not great. But this guy goes straight in the D. Just very overlooked. These guys are going to go how you would expect them to here. With Agron ending up in the A category. He's just, he's a tank, so no surprise there. <clears throat> this guy's going down in the C category, but you know, his evolution I'm actually going to throw all the way up here in the A. Um, the Psychic Fighting combination is really, really, really strong. It's honestly something I wish I utilized during my gameplay, but I didn't, so I really missed out there, but oh well. Um, let's see this little guy. This little guy will go up in the C category. He's not great, but when he evolves, holy hell, Manetric was a key player in our game. So Manetric's gonna get it all the way. Plus a little Minel, straight Ds. Same with these two. I don't know what they were going for. Um, they tend to be horrific. That's all I can really say. Brasilia is... Uh, I'm going to put it in the C category. It's actually not terrible. It's just not great. That's my overall opinion. Uh, this guy's trash. His evolution will throw in C. I don't know. I've never used him, so I can't really speak to him, but I don't think he's good. I don't even know if this guy was in the game. I didn't see him all that much if he was, but I know the shark was. He'll go up here into the B category. He was okay. You know, Sharpedo did what he needed to do. These guys, I would say, are like the, the backup if you don't choose the water starter. I'm actually going to throw him up in the A. He just He's an all-out wall that you can really do a lot of stuff with, so it's beneficial there. Uh, the camel dude, he'll go down there. And then I'm going to throw his evolution up here in the A category, as well as Torkoal. I think they both serve roughly the same purpose, camera and Torkoal, but... I, I've always liked Torkoal a little bit more. Some people like Camerot a little bit more, so I'll just I'll leave it to that. I know Camerot has the ground typing as well, so that could help, but I don't know if it really does. Uh, this guy's going down here in D, and so isn't Spinda, because I hate Spinda. His evolution can go up in C, I guess. I don't even know if he was in this generation. I think he was, but he's okay. Um... Trap Hinch is going to go down there and see his evolution in B, and then Flygon is going all the way up to the S tier. Flygon is awesome. One of my favorite Pokemon to use. I didn't get to use him in this Let's Play, but he's really good. Um, I personally don't really care for these guys, and I think this is just a really bad, really bad selection there, so I'm going to throw them both in the C category. A Swiblo is going to go down in C, and then once again, you know the dragon types, they're always going up here in the A category, or the S category, I love the dragon typing, and it tends to be really overpowered, so you got that going. Zangoose, or whatever he's called, um, you know what, I'll throw him in B, I used him when I was young, he's a pretty solid normal type, so, Sviper, down here in C, it's okay, we've seen a snake Pokemon before. These guys are going in the B category. Um, they're both decent. They're just not great. So they can hang out up there. Uh, this guy, D category, because I've never even seen him. And then this guy will go in the C category. I think he's okay. Uh, the little crab man. He'll go up in the C and then his evolution will go up in B. He's not terrible. He's just not... Not something I would pick, although his design is really cool, so he, he's mostly winning on that. A lot of them that I've never used before, like Lutoad, um, this dude right here, Cacturn, they're just winning based off of designs for the most part. Uh, this guy is a C, but his evolution is honestly an A tier. He a pretty solid Pokemon. I would use him, I don't know, if I had the time to grind up this guy, I guess, but he's pretty solid. Uh, these guys, let's see, I'm putting both of their pre-evolutions down here. 
but I'm putting them both in the A category, just because they gave me such a hard time in the Elite Four that I think it's worth, they deserve to be up here, at least slightly, so we'll give them that. Uh, Feebas is a straight D, because it's a piece of shit to even get. I didn't even attempt to do it, because it's so difficult and just not worth it. But I guess with that being said, it is kind of worth it, because my Lodic is a straight S category type. It is terrific. Like, 100% of the time, great. So, there's that. Um, cast form, I'm going to put him in the B category. You know, having the ability to change your type based on the weather and stuff could be really helpful in some situations. I've never been in a situation where it was particularly helpful, but it could be helpful, so we'll leave that. Uh, Kecleon is kind of in the same boat as cast form, right? Like... It's a cool strategic thing to add to the game, but it just not much benefit on my personal team. Um, this guy is down here in the D, but Bayonet is going to go up here in the B. A decent Pokemon, it's okay. Um, him, he's coming down here. And then this guy's going straight up in the A category. Man, Dusclops is a monster in this game like ridiculously challenging to play against so he's gonna go up there oh this guy you know what this guy is man where to even put him I'm putting him down here I used to love him when I was a little kid just cause he looks like a dinosaur and I really like dinosaurs still do um <laughs> but he's just He's so slow, and he has so many weaknesses, like grass flying. It's just bad. You know, he's a tank. He has a lot of HP, but that that's about it. Let's see. I, I don't know what that guy does, so I'm putting him there. I'm putting the little baby here. I'm putting him there. I'm just going to go through and get rid of all these really bad Pokemon out of the list. Love Disc can go there, too. We didn't need more mediocre fish Pokemon. Absol is coming up in the S category. If used right, Absol is an absolute boss, and Absol looks cool as shit, so I think Absol deserves to be up there. I like the dark typing. The dark typing's really strong in this generation. Uh, we didn't get one just because he's a little trolly to find, and in all honesty, before I did the the, um, the finale episode, I, I did go and look for an Absol and just gave up because I mean, Leveling up Agron and Altaria already seemed like enough of a pain in the ass that I didn't want to do it with Absol as well, but Absol's pretty solid. It would be a good pick. This guy is going in the C category, and then AC is going up here in the B. He's a good defensive wall. Ice type, you know, it's always helpful, especially when you have a Dragon Master in the Elite Four, so we'll give it to him there. Um, this Seal guy... You know what, he deserves some love. And then this guy, just because he has that move that's a one-hit KO, is going up there. That's a really strong move, and honestly, it's killer. It gave me a hard time a couple times going through the Elite Four. This guy's going down here, and I I'm just really sick of... Maybe I'll just throw these guys all in C, because I'm really sick of having... Just generic fish type Pokemon that don't really have anything all that special about them. Uh, these guys probably have some special characteristics, but they didn't when I played, so. Bagon's going down here, and then Shelgon is going to go up in the B category. He's pretty good. But then Salamance, of course, all the way up in the A. And then who would expect it with Metagross as well? You know, the same deal. going all the way up in the S category. That's... I, I think those guys are like the legend of this generation, so... Now we're getting into our actual legendary Pokemon, and I'm gonna say Kyogre is a straight A. And Groudon is a straight S. Um, yeah, it, one is like the destructor of all worlds and is looking to annihilate the ocean and the other is a blue fucking whale in my opinion <laughs> but um you know they're both really really strong i like groudon a lot better than kyogre so 
that's where they land for me, but I understand anybody who would reverse that and just say, hey, well, just ground type, you know? So, other Reggies, uh, Reggie Ice and Reggie Steel are both going up here. I think they're both really, really strong. And not that Reggie Rock isn't, because we're going to go and grab him and throw him in the A category. But I, I just think Ice and Steel are way better types than Rock. So, I. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm placing them like that. It's just a matter of personal opinion and a matter of usability. These two guys, Latios and Latias, we did not get to see them during our playthrough, but the Psychic type in a Legendary Pokemon, especially a Roaming Legendary, pretty OP, so they're going to go up there in the S category. Let's see, we got Rayquaza, obviously S category, Dragon type Legendary Pokemon, pretty badass, and he looks pretty damn cool. Jirachi and Deoxys are obviously going up here as well, and I just noticed that that music is really loud. So I think that's going to be it. That's my ranking of the Pokemon here as a whole for this generation. Um, obviously, I didn't give it as much love as Generation 1 and 2 because it's, like I said, I, I just start to lose interest in this generation because it becomes very aggravating at a certain point to me. With that being said, let's make our team. So we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. We have to form a team of five here. I don't want to use any of the legendaries, and I don't want to use any Pokemon that I've used before. So I think for my team, if I was to build it, we'd go with Blaziken. Um, let's go with Dusclops. This is where it starts to get tough because I don't really have any attachment to these guys. Let's pick out the crab because we need a water type. <laughs> That's really all I'm going off of there. Uh, let's see. See, let's go with my, my dinosaur looking friend here. You know, we'll need a defensive wall for our team. Everybody else is pretty strong on attack, nothing else. And then finally, our D category team member. We can't pick any of the those guys, otherwise, we go Ultra Metagross. Probably Ultra Rayquaza, honestly. Or Mega Rayquaza. He's one of the best Pokemon out there. But, um... Yeah, who... Man, I don't know. Uh, Spinda, because he's so trolly. That's what I would go with. But alright, guys. That's going to be my tier ranking, honestly. Um, I, I didn't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it. And I really didn't give it too much thought. Because half these Pokemon I didn't use. My Pokedex... Ka amount was 25, and some of them were pre-evolutions to other Pokemon that I just didn't get the middle evolution, so yeah, it's like I said, this generation has never been one of my favorites, I don't think there's really much that could turn it around to be one of my favorites so, the ranking here is very arbitrary and probably heavily debatable but, I hope you all enjoyed this you know, um, yesterday the finale was post, today we got this, and then tomorrow we'll be starting Brilliant Diamond as long as we can figure out some of the capture card stuff, but I guess I'll see you guys then. Take it easy.